Remnant 2. Alright, we're getting back into this. So, actually, actually I actually remember what we did last time. I think we beat the main game last time, but we didn't quite beat the side, the DLC or something with the rats. I think we hit a point where we just could not get past a certain boss or something and didn't want to deal with it anymore or something. But uh, Bird's joining me once again for Remnant 2, and this time around Illusory is joining us, so we're going to have a full party of three. So now it's not... Now it's going to be a little bit of a different dynamic, I think, where at least every time somebody gets their ass beat and goes down, we then don't have to deal with 100% of the remaining players being in charge of trying to get them back up. Like, three players could be a bit more flexible, and it'll be interesting to see how that, how that changes that up. But I'm here to do the character creation and single player intro mission that's probably here, because it was here last time, so that it, and prepare this in advance, that later on... Maybe later this episode, or maybe next episode, depending on how long it takes. Uh, we'll do a uh, co-op. I don't know what all this is. I could use that. I don't like the looks of this. I don't like the look of this. Well, I don't. I could use that. Not bad. No. I don't. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. I could use that. No. I don't. Well, I don't know what all this is. Well. I don't know. No, I could use that. No. I don't like the looks of this. Like not That person sounds like they have different voice uh, accents in each clip. <laughs> God, I don't know what all this is, but I do not want to find out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Why not? All right. Uh Okay. Eye color. Whoa, 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 what was that? Uh, we having to reload the character a bit more extensively when I change eye color in particular. Oh my goodness, that's distracting and kind of distressing. No, I don't want to. I want to look. I want to see the top of his head better. I'm changing his hair. It's not zooming out. Still keeps the same amount of him cut off. Okay. Little mustache. Scars and markings. Oh, where are they? Let's get rid of the scars too so I can tell them apart. So, dirty, dirty, dirty. It's pretty much like where do you want the mud to be? Or if you change color, it looks like blood? It does generally look like mud. There's some scars in there. Back up his jaw, give him an eye scar. A classic anime X-shaped scar. Let's do the jaw one. I can work with this guy. I can dig it. Not a huge amount of variables here, like... You can barely change their the shape of their face, so everyone's gonna have the same shaped face. <laughs> There's gonna be essentially the same dude with different hair, which is a bit restrictive. But a decent looking character. Oh, difficulties. Uh, more demanding with tougher enemies or her nightmare. Not recommended. Let's do veteran. That seems like a reasonable assumption for a starting point. This is kind of... This is a, a shooter series that's kind of called a Souls-like, but that seems dubious. It does have some st stuff like bonfires and a roll, but... Mostly, it feels like a looter shooter. Like Diablo or Borderlands, more so than it feels like it's really a... If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. 
I've got this. your life the sinkhole your foot what you'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound fine two times then the sinkhole and just now hey let me see that leave it it's nothing hey I'm fine come on roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already this is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. Well, whatever kind of supernatural uh, boomed infection thing as that is, is upsetting. You ever hear about the North Pole? Huh. That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this ward. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just. Hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. Look at that happy couple. You think people actually live like this? Uh... <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> Very aggro commercial. All right, this is aggressive movement speed. So let's move controls. Probably gameplay. Horizontal and vertical sensitivity. Let's chill this out a bit. Let's see how that goes. Oh, aiming and scope are also- that's a lot of customization. Don't know if I'll be sniping here. The inclusion of a dead zone makes me worried that I might have just changed the controls for having a... keyboard and- for having a controller and not keyboard and mouse. Same thing as before, pistol and then main weapon. Yeah. Has not let me pick a class yet. Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's got to be another way through. Given that this is a co-op game, I feel like there's e either this person hangs out in Firelink Shrine for the rest of the game. I don't think you can break that. <laughs> the reaction made me think you could, maybe. Either she hangs out in Firelink Shrine, or she dies in the next, like, 10 or 20 minutes. You do not want to be the tutorial character companion in a co-op game. It's bad for your health. If I were to guess the hook narratively, I would say that she succumbs to her infection and it tra transforms her and then maybe she infects us and then that's like the stakes for the rest of the game is us trying to cure ourselves. Can't let it go to waste. 
Use it on that bum ankle of yours. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the guys. I mostly make that leap of... I mostly make that uh, assumption of and leap based on the fact that uh, I've played that story in like 10 games already. <laughs> Neither of you know what broccoli is, do you? I assume that these characters were both born after the fall of whatever happened. What with the evil everything. Seems pretty similar to the previous game. I almost said first game, but then I remembered that I did play the, the first game in this series, which is more explicitly a Souls-like melee game that most people don't know about, and they that's for the best. It's honestly a horrible video game. I lost my shit when I realized that in the, in the game that came out before the previous Remnant game, uh, you can animation cancel your heavy attack with a dodge roll forward, so you can animation cancel loop between cutting your dodge roll, your your forward dash short, and cutting your uh, your heavy attack short. So you can spam your heaviest attack at an astonishing speed that clearly is not meant to be because it unbalances the entire attack, and you can just loop that, and you can just get through most of the game that way. Like just really basic mistakes were made in that game that destroy the whole thing. It was originally meant for like a VR experience, but I don't think, I'm not sure I much, I never heard about that version of it until the desktop was one was out, so I don't know if anyone, if many people really played the original, original launch before they relaunched it and renamed it as a Remnant prequel. You know, she's not doing good. Yeah, I think piggybacking on the success of the previous game before this one, they then made the first, they re-released the first game as a non-VR game to try to, like, give it some attention again, I think. But I'm not sure if that benefited anyone. <laughs> like this out here you know maybe best we head back we retrace our steps i have horrible news it's really just not a good sign oh i don't think you can pause this game because it's mostly real time online Uh, sensitivity is out of control. Ah! Oh god. Hi. Uh, oh. No! Oh!
Okay, so it's a meant to lose fight. There might have been an alternate outcome if you, like, really popped off, but I was like, damn, this is an overwhelming intro for this game. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. All right. I'm handling being pre impaled pretty well. If they're gonna have me get impaled in a cutscene, though. I do somewhat question the choice to give me full plate armor. And it's my opening outfit. With I think that everyone always looks like this, right? I just I know, I know that it's like it's a wacky video game and all that, but just like if you want to sell the impalement in the cutscene, having a giant metal plate on my body just kind of like contradicts the animation a bit. But it's whatever. Wacky fantasy game. It's not far from here. The way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. I am curious if there's like a victory condition in that stuff. Because like it's like the uh, the beginning of Demon Souls, the Vanguard, which is like so hard to kill that it's not even fun to try, but you can do it. <laughs> and there is a reward. That's sort of a- that can be a tradition within the, the subgenre. Yeah. Suddenly I can be to a lot more when I have a chance to aim, and I'm not just getting swarmed by th like 12 of them right on my ankles. <laughs> they do notably do no damage. They're very much all here just to attract attention it looks like. How do I get that? There's loot all the way up there. Rude. What, did y'all forget to pack guns? What are we even doing out here if you're not even gonna bring guns? If this is like the if this is like the previous game, there's a interesting choice in that they randomize the layout of the campaign, which I have mixed feelings on because it doesn't randomize in during your playthrough. It randomizes each new playthrough you make. So if you play the game once, 
you have a game that's less like hands-on designed mechanic like mechanically and layout wise and you never and you never experienced the variability that that was sacrificed for I don't know if that's my favorite approach <laughs> No, that's not the right gun. Please run. There we go. Oh! Oh, he closed that gap. I get a little health from these. That, that's ammo. Oops. Oh, I thought there was going to be a swing. <laughs> not just a, not just a continued charge. I'm not reading these attacks very correctly. Whoop. So red red damage is crit, which is, seems to be double, which is worth doing. Nope. Nope, you cannot hit fire. Big mistake. I don't seem to have damage drop off from range. The root ganglia. Gross. Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. Ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <laughs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm fine, I... Cash! Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, we need to get her to work, uh, real quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. It did not end with her transforming into a monster and becoming the boss fight. Given that the tutorial boss is over, I'm guessing it's not going to be her, so... Maybe our goal is, is to cure her over the course of the game. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of... Everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? 
I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. You must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? It's a very funny name to have. For... I'm, I'm the leader of the Ward, Mr. Ward. Where I came from wasn't safe. We heard about a place that was. Yeah, well, you'll be safe here for as long as you need, Traveler. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing out here. <laughs> Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. <laughs> Oop. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? I really appreciate you saving us out there. Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. You stirred up quite a deadwood nest. I haven't seen that many in one place for a long time. You the leader here? <laughs> I guess. I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda... Put me in charge. Well, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but the ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. You seem pretty young. How were you a guard 20 years ago? Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself, uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that. Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Though, he ain't much for leading himself. I vaguely remember there was a shopkeeper, and then there was an old man, and then there was a... There was a blacksmith. Can't remember any of their faces or names, though. It's just not... The bulk of the experience. How long has the Founder been around exactly? Uh, I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. Uh, you'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Commander Ford is the Founder's daughter? Wife? Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh... The Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. What's going on with Clementine? Her powers, I mean. Oh, incredible, isn't she? Yeah, no one really understands how she does it. Not, not even her. But the feel in the air after she blasts him like that, it's... It's electric. Like, like the sun after a storm. She's something special, Traveler. <laughs> and no small part of how we're as safe as we are. I'll talk to you later. The people here are friendly. <laughs> if you give them a chance. Stay safe, Traveler. You think... the Rooter... really gone for good? Dunno. But I don't think it matters. We gotta find joy where we can, while we can. Did they defeat the Root at part of the last game? Like, for good, for good? I guess when I see a sequel, I immediately think, well, I guess it's not gone. <laughs> guess we're back to the previous problem. I'm Whispers No Speech. Need protection out there? I sell armor. Merchants buy and sell items for scrap, uh, a variety of items, stew and stew. 
you can go get your gear or sell my nothing. But yeah, this is just where you get equipment. It's slightly different stat distributions. Here's a ring. When receiving healing effects, gain haste for 10 seconds. That could be pretty cool if you have a consistent healing person in the party or something. What happened to your voice? Stabbed in the neck a long time ago. Excellent use of the skip ahead feature is to get past the, uh, the, the writing part of the thing. This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know, families fight Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. Andrew Ford as in founder Ford? In the flesh. But how? They say you're hundreds of years old. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Were you expecting me? Uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Law of averages. Someone's always coming eventually, right? Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. How would Wallace know? Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. He can see the future? It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. If you're really the Ford that built this place, how are you alive? That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Uh, can I get some? Huh. Huh, huh. Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, Traveler. I do wonder if he's supposed to be the protagonist of the first game or something. I don't know. I don't remember if you could customize them or not in the first, first game. The one that was not a shooter. What kind of favor are we talking about? Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. I'd like to know more about the people living here. Anyone in particular? Where were you and Clementine fighting? Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. She can't be more than what, 19? Looks can be deceiving. In fact, she's 132 years old. Did she do the same thing as you? Not quite. Clementine spent a long time away, keeping strange company. Something like that will change you. These are all non-answers. Bo seems a little young to be mayor. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13 sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. 
Is Riggs really as nice as he seems? Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. <sighs> I'm sure I can get you up to speed. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. He's like, just check out this guide. So, I don't know why I said that. Hello. It's glowing and has a code or, on it or something, but I can't click it on it. Oop. I guess this game's just full of punch interactions. So that wood wasn't like destructible or anything. That's just every wall. Yeah. Bit of non-answer, as he opened up by saying, Hey, yeah, you go ask your questions first, whatever, and then didn't actually want to answer any of my questions. Not really. Trade point. So, expertise. Minus 1%, 2% uh, skill cooldown. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah, the way up to 20. So, very straightforward. Mod power generation. Or trait. Maximum stamina by zero. I'll look to 30. Then health. Okay, so straightforward enough. Health is a easy starting point to jump on. It's just the thing, what you always need. Not a huge amount of upgrade though over the course of 10 levels. Where are we headed next? Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? Thanks again for your help back there, uh... Briggs. And no worries. There was a time when helping each other survive was all we had left. Around here? We don't forget those days if we can help it. Your friend's gonna be all right, by the way. I've seen weaker pull out of worse. What were you doing out there? Uh, you don't mind me asking? Looking for the ward. We heard stories. Really? <laughs> What'd you hear exactly? Tales about a man who fights the root and never ages. Ah, founder forge tales travel far and wide, don't they? Fair warning. You can't believe half of them. But half of impossible is still a sight, eh? You know where to find me. Not sure where my objective is at the moment. I swear to God and my mother. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Uh, Bo didn't mention you. Oh, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? Okay. Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what, you're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Thanks, McCabe. Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Okay, you're a lot, but like in a try-hard, vanilla, embarrassing kind of way. <laughs> it's just not that, not that impressive. Let's see here. So we're heading down here. I would like to be able to pick my class. Get this properly started. Wally's waiting for you. Don't believe me? <laughs> Talk to him. You'll see. You worried you'll get lost? 
Just head to the docks. You'll know Wally when you meet him. Okay, that's the wrong place to go. I guess the docks must be that all the way down there. Question mark. Hello. You're rad. Greetings. Forgive me. I am not good with Paxel Tech faces. Uh, who are you? Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxel Tech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel Tech name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel Tech faster, stronger, more powerful. They help it defeat its enemies. And the prices are quite fair. Humans are known as Paxel Techs. This guy is cool. I have a, I have a lot of questions. Of course, Paxel Tech. What does Paxel Tech mean exactly? Paxel Tech, foreign to the pan, meaningless. Perhaps on Paxel Tech world, but it is at home on Dwell's tongue. And what are you? <laughs> yes, that is always the question. I am Pan, from the world of Yesha, where the Eternal Empress reigns, the Dow and Ravager run free, and the balance breathes life to the jungle. Or. So it used to be. Is that not how things are now? Alas, it is not. Long and long have the immortals oppressed the common pan, wielding their power as if it were something they had earned or deserved. The pan have rebelled against this tyranny, and for a time it looks as if we could win. Then the pestilence came. What Paxel take call the root. When I last saw her, Yesha languished under the pestilence. The Ravager prowls, and the dog is lost. The rebellion continues, but my people ache for relief. You know, Dwell isn't really a name, right? I'm not picking that. That's rude as shit. <laughs> Anything could be a name. How'd you get here? Ah, the Bucks will take fort. The... Founder. On its last visit to Yesha, it said it was possible. I do not understand the complexities myself, but now I am here. How do you know Ford? Ah, Ford came to Yesha many times, aiding the rebels against the tyranny of immortals. His desire to protect was clear even then, as was his craft for violence, which he freely shared. Dwell did not learn Paxel Tech Ford's violence, but shared in aiding the rebels with the same crystals I offer here. Both aided rebellion, so both shared imprisonment. Oh, I languished for years. A cost I had never hoped to pay. But another Paxel Tech, the one they say wanders the worlds, came to free the Ford. And the Ford freed Dwell and many others. Tell me about these crystals you sell. Gems, refined from a special crystal found only on Yesha. The Ahane, uh, priests of the Pan, Forbid the crystal's use among commoners, but the Gull are craftier than Ahane know. Long and long have the Gull used the crystals for weapons, or even cruder things, like soups. But it takes an artisan like Dwell to bring out their full potential. If they're only found in Yesha, how do you get them here? Does it hope to steal Dwell's chain of supply? No, 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 no. Dwell's success does not come from handing out his secrets. <laughs> ah, yes. 
Let's see what you can make. The finest crystals anywhere. Crafting. NPCs throughout the world in War 13 we're going to use craft items, blah, blah, blah. Each recipe has a number of required materials. It's a recipe. Okay. Crafting. 15 relic dust makes a red relic fragment. Or blue. Or yellow. Process Kawara. Decreased stamina recovery by 70... Delayed by 75%. Stamina regen penalty by 50%. So it makes you better at stamina recovery. Need a Kawara pellet and scrap. Alright, so there's just a whole bunch of, like... Temporary stat boost items. Increases mod damage by 10%. That one says consumable. This one says mutator. Okay, so some of these are probably modifiers you can actually use then. That's interesting. But for now, it's pretty inaccessible. The Paxel takes path lies before it. Is this the dock? That is a boat. Oh, okay. There's eventually a waypoint, but from you have to get pretty close before it shows up. It's a pretty big map. Tiny children. I see you, traveler. Ah. Uh, I see you too, buddy. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. A little awkward. It stuck me here when the cutscene started, but then he moved, so now I'm just staring into space. I don't think I can rotate the camera? No. Are you talking about my friend, Cass? You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The site, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. Uh... This is weird. Can I ask some questions? You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Aha! Here's the classes. Medic, healing, support, well-rounded. Hunter, long range, marking, precision damage. Challenger, close range, durable, hard to kill, tanky guy. Handler, that one as a dog, that's the one I want. That's all the logic I need. All right, so it's just the four at first. Hunter, Medic, Handler, Challenger. I'm gonna go with Handler because the Handler has a dog. And that's pretty good. <laughs> Skill, Guard Dog. Companion will follow the Handler and generate 15% increased threat while attacking. All damage to them is reduced by 20%. Single Press. Companion engages enemies near the target location. Double Tap. Companion returns to Handler and remains at their side. Hold. Howl reduces damage by 15% to all allies within 20 meters and the Companion generates additional threat. The activation button has three different inputs? That's actually wild. <laughs> that's some... That's, 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 a, that's a lot. I wonder if that's if, how they all work or if it's specific to this character or not. I can check. That is me. Okay. Well, focused. There are other commands here, but specifically me. I have multiple inputs per input. That is wild, okay. Yeah, the, the goal is going to be that everybody uh, picks different classes entirely. Support dog. Companion will follow the handler and continually heal allies within 3.5 meters for blah blah blah. Single press. Companion engages enemies near the target location. Double tap. Companion returns to the handler and rates the side hold gr howl grants two percent of maximum health per second and 25 percent increased movement speed to all allies within 20 meters for 25 seconds so over the course of half of a minute the which is not which is which is slow uh the dog can uh do an aoe heal for half of the health of my entire party that's pretty good attack dog Companion will follow the handler and deal 20% additional damage. 
Uh, engage them there, return to me, and then howl. Increases damage by 20% for all allies. Okay. So I can, I can reduce incoming damage, heal the party, or increase damage done by my party, which is pretty cool. When the handler is down, their companion will attempt to revive them. What? <laughs> That's cool as shit. Yep. That makes a lot of sense now. It seems like this is the right path. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. Doggy. You can pet the dog? You can pet the dog, but there's a pop-up in the way. Go, go away. There we go. Given the blue getup and the German Shepherd, I feel like I just got warped into a Fallout game. Hip, 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 hip. Alright. Well, there we go. Now I've got a class. Basically have less armor than before, but we'll make it work. Brabus. Maybe just need to go see Reds. He can probably help with my gun. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Wallace told me to see you. He said you were, uh, the next step in my journey. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Uh, something about my path? Those guns at Bravisil. The boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. <sighs> I bet Riggs can help me out. Bleh. Jump the fence! <laughs> I made a horrible mistake with this pathing. Uh, this way? Okay. And now they'll talk to me. Oh, traveler. Rabbis told me to see you. He said you were, uh, the next step in my journey. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. He said you were gonna talk his ear off if he didn't? <laughs> That sounds like Brabus. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. And this person upgrades your equipment. Upgrades cost iron and scrap. Which I can apparently afford, but do I want to upgrade this gun? I don't know. Let's just do it anyway. I'll get more iron later. My time, traveler. Well, I said you could help me with my journey. Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right. So, what the hell is this journey? I don't actually know. I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. The Root Ganglia. Weapon mod. Healing shot. Launches a payload that explodes on contact with allies, healing for 35% of their maximum health. When no ally is struck, it lays dormant until an ally gets close. 30 seconds. Loses over time. Concussive shot. Fires a uh, focused blast of air. I through all targets within 8 meters, dealing 155 damage and 4 times impact. Fires Caltrops, a Caltrops grenade that explodes to cover an area of 6 meters. The Caltrops deal 20 damage per second and apply slow to enemies that walk over them. Last 8 seconds. Fire damage. Increases ranged damage by 15% for 20 seconds. Alright, well the one that's- the Caltrops 
if I remember correctly, there's big enough like arena moments where you kind of want to keep running backwards and shooting things that are chasing you, kind of like in Doom. And uh, ha having a slow Caltrops trap just feels in character for the what is essentially like a hunter character. So that's a fun thing to grab first, I think. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah. So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? I don't have any more questions. Hopefully this means you'll be leaving soon. Wow, you're so sparkling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh... What an exhausting character. <laughs> just the insistence on repeating the same character trait every single line of dialogue just makes her incredibly grating. It's just unnecessary. Doggy, 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 doggy! So you can go have them double tap and then hold. Cool dog. How do I choose the skill? Support dog. Locked until I step level 5. So I have to hit level 5 before I can give him healing. So that would be cool. Double tap to keep him around me. Okay. Geared up and ready. Should we head out? Or, uh, is there something you wanted to do first? Uh, yeah, let's go. Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. Video As a player, this is my goal, but in-universe, it's the idea of immediately leaving the safe place you worked so hard to find is a bit funny. What if I put you in huge amounts of danger now that you've achieved the impossible goal of finding the place you never thought you'd find where that allows you to not die? Still smells like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> No, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. Something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? There it is. That's where the portal used to be. This, so this is the first game's base. I was like, me, like, hang on a minute. That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Hey. <laughs> Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. That hustle's got me a little less convinced that you actually need uh, to run. Oh, sorry. Nope. Right, mess my bird. I was saying that 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 hustle he's got has me double guess, guessing his uh second guessing his uh walking cane a little bit. Stand around all day. Oh. 
Is that the... The World Stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. <laughs> of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford. Ford. Ford! Oh, man. Always gonna be pissed. The session is now joinable. We made it! We made it to the video game! That, this, this took an hour. <laughs> I, I, I know it sounds whiny, but I'm like, oh my god, I, uh, this might be a barrier between uh, just logistically everyone being able to join up in time, because they all have to prepare for an entire hour beforehand. Getting a little out of hand, the... Uh, how long it takes to start the video game in some of these games that are designed for multiplayer. They should really make the intros playable in multiplayer more consistently because the, uh... Otherwise it's just so much setup you have to do in advance that it really deflates the whole I bought this game for co-op experience with your friends. But anyway, next episode. The video game starts with two more people and, and my dog. And my dog. Mm -hmm.